So while this is a response video, just as the clickbait title suggests, the video as a whole is less about this guy or me than it is about you, my darling viewer. And in the spirit of making the most of our time here today, I would like for you to picture a statue that has all the makings of a masterpiece. It has some blemishes and some rough patches here and there, but when it is finished, it will unmistakably be the sculptor's magnum opus. Alas, it is not finished yet, and in order for it to be the best statue it can be, it's gonna take some TLC in the form of some chiseling and sanding. The process of chiseling and sanding is not necessarily pleasant for the sculptor, and even less pleasant for the statue. Ow! 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 But bit by bit, the sculptor works his way down from chisels to sandpaper, and from coarse sandpaper to that of finer and finer grit. And at the end of the sanding, the statue we thought was pretty good in the first place is now something to behold. Now imagine that the statue is you, and the chisel is your old terrible work that you could no longer stand the sight of. Salutations fellow readers, writers, and killers of time on YouTube. My name is Martha Jones, and if by chance you are an author, an illustrator, or an artist of any kind who is prone to bouts of hatred for yourself, your work, or both, this video is for you. Many hours ago in the Mario land of YouTube, a video appeared in my recommendations called Why Artists Are Never Happy. I presume this video was suggested to me because the video of mine that YouTube seems to like the best is an incredibly early one that might be my bitchiest video ever. So the helpful little bots that govern my recommendations recommended this video in the sweet spirited notion of giving me more stuff to complain about. The things that DSLR Guide said in his video about why artists are never happy are basically good. The gist of it was that in order for artists to grow, the state of mind in which they more or less need to exist is one of constructive pessimism. And while he cannot recommend a path of full-on perfectionism because that'll drive you nuts, he did recommend the embracing of discontentment insofar that it keeps you from stagnating, because according to him, contentment is the enemy of progress. And essentially, I agree with that. If I really, really wanted to complain about something, it might be the lack of differentiation between the dissatisfaction with one's art and the dissatisfaction with one's life, because theoretically you can be dissatisfied with one and not the other. Otherwise, I don't believe so many of us who are discontented with a life would be so keen on escaping to art. Also, it's an incredibly short video. If it were any longer, I would hope that DSLR Guide would touch on the fact that unhappiness can be productive, but only to a certain depth. In my own depressive cycles, my artistic productivity tends to exist on a bell curve. Where on, if life is amazing and I am busy doing really cool stuff, I might not have time for art. If life is mostly good, but there's still some rough patches here and there, a distraction from the not good stuff is still welcome. If I exist in a state of functional misery, i.e. my status quo, a distraction from the misery can be a goodness. And if I am in pit of despair territory where life is utter rubbish, my art will not seem important. That can be a fairly good gauge for my mental health, the point at which books and food and music start to matter to me again. But again, my point and purpose was less to complain about DSLR Guide's video than it was to share with you an observation I had while watching it. You know how when we look back at our past work, and we cringe, we self-loathe, we wonder what kind of dopes we must have been for thinking that we had something worth sharing with people. And even like we disrespected our audience by dispensing to them our art even though they've been nothing but complimentary. Okay, this is gonna sound super cheesy, but it is the astounding truth. The work you did as a wee baby artist is no more or less a masterpiece than the current work in progress over which you are slaving at a far greater skill level. Because the real masterpiece is you. That is why your past work irritates you so awful bad. It is the heavy-duty sandpaper of incredibly coarse grit that is sometimes needed to grind away the blunt edges of your hubris and make you take your technique more seriously. And as you can imagine, sandpaper is irritating. Yet as you develop your craft, if you have a healthy understanding of what you're doing right and wrong, which is to say you're able to put your self-loathing in a lead-lined box somewhere while you honestly appraise your work, you should notice that the most recent rounds of sandpaper are a finer grit than they used to be, and you start to hate your work less and less. Unfortunately, the irksomeness that is finer and finer grits of sandpaper exists for your whole life long as you progress in your craft. That is something on which I agree with DSLR Guide. If you are an artist who wants to get better, lingering satisfaction might be elusive to you. But if you pursue excellence for long enough, you will find means by which to get there quicker, better, and more reliably. Every time you pick up a pen, a paintbrush, or a chisel. As always, thank you for giving these videos a shot. I post whenever I can. In the meantime, take it easy. Love to you. Bye. Like my channel, buy my crap. Do da, do da. There's no time to take a nap. Oh, through da day. Hey! Or a chisel.